Hi everyone, it's Giselle with a message for today and I would like to do a mini reading for the full, oh no, not full moon, the new moon guidance. There's a new moon out tonight and I just wanted to go over a few things, a few realizations as well, not necessarily just looking at these cards here, but just a few observations within my own energy and what I've seen around from clients and also other readers that I'm following. I think we've all been through a bit of a conflicting stage in the last maybe few weeks or days, even just days. And these aren't always to do with our beloveds or other people outside of ourselves. If you... Um, follow Nikki from Divine Love Crystal Grid. She's been talking about how she had a bust up with her twin flame. Now, with me, it's completely opposite. I've not had a bust up with my twin flame. I'm not actually actively communicating right now, which is fine for, for both of us anyway, because we need to do a lot of internal healing. Um, but I found that within myself the past few days, I've had a lot of conflict, a lot of thoughts that came up that just made no sense and you know when you have an argument with somebody and it makes you feel lost and completely disoriented and wondering if you're even on the right track and wondering who you are and what what all this is for well I had that without even having an argument with anyone and it was all coming up within myself and my sleep cycles have been completely out I've just been going through what feels like <laughs> it it mimics the behavior of someone who's broken up with somebody, you know, who's who's just completely tired and doesn't want to go anywhere or see anyone and just needs some time to themselves and just wants to be in their own energy. But it's really weird because I didn't have an argument with anybody. <laughs> But that's kind of, it's funny how it mimics that kind of thing. Um, but I, I think it's to do with the moon cycles and with what's coming up and releasing a lot of the old so that the new can come in. And one of the things that I've realized is that we tend to look externally too much for answers, for signs, for guidance, for change. And really, the change needs to happen within ourselves. And I know it sounds familiar, maybe even a bit cliche at this point, but it's true. And this was magnified to me when a client of mine yesterday asked if there was some sort of meditation or... They didn't use the word ritual, but I think they were hinting at, could there be a ritual that will help and change their beloved mindset or attitude and get them to move forward. But I said to them, you know, I've learned the hard way that those kind of things may work temporarily. But if it's not meant to be, and it's not in divine timing, it's going to retract and go back to how it was. And you're going to think, how frustrating. I had a bit of progress and now it's all come to a standstill again. But it's because, sadly, well, not sadly... It's a blessing in disguise, but in these divine connections, divine timing is everything. Because I know from my situation, if we had met any other time prior to when I was ready to meet him, I would have just gone, no. And I would have missed an amazing opportunity. May not have missed it permanently, but it would certainly have delayed things even further or caused a lot more problems than, than it would have. So, even though we can't always understand it, timing is everything. And what's vital right now is doing internal work and looking within. Going into our own temples and facing the fears and doubts that are trying to rise up to the surface. This is why if you are feeling shaky and out of sorts as if you'd had a massive bust-up or an argument with somebody, even though you haven't. It's your 
problems that you've bottled up, any doubts, fears, darkness that you've bottled up from God knows how long, trying to come up to the surface to be looked at and say, look at me, I need to be resolved now. And I'm not surprised that this has come at the, at the new moon. And this is what I wanted you to, to focus on rather than asking what rituals can I do to help others and make others see me. See yourself first. Locate yourself first. Face your fears first. A lot of the time what we project out to others is what we actually feel within ourselves. We just don't understand. Does this person hate me? No, but do you have a lack of self-love? You know, it's it's always good to ask yourself these questions. And so I've drawn um, three cards for guidance for us today for the new moon. And let's have a little look at what they are. The first one is two of pentacles. I understand why this came out. It's the fact that we need to rebalance, to recalibrate our energies and to really become truer, purer versions of who we truly are, which is our soul. Oh, this reminds me of a dream that I had. A very weird dream. I dreamt that I was walking down the street and just minding my own business, I was in a happy mood. And then these two men were following me and accused me of being not an alien, but a spirit um, in this human body. And they said, you're only borrowing that body, you know, we can see who you really are. And I said, no, you can't. They said, yeah, your your energy is sticking right out. <laughs> and I was like, oh, great. So rather than walking or running away and hiding from these people, I just thought, you know what, there's no point hiding. I mean, if they see my energy, then great. So I just flew away, <laughs> which is crazy. And my dreams are always very extreme because I know that spirit wants me to remember the message that lies behind. But this is a message for all of us. We are spirits, eternal beings, beings of love in these human bodies. And maybe we should just not walk and run away anymore and just fly away and just embrace who we actually are for once, you know? <laughs> so I feel that this card, it's actually, this card has reminded me of that dream. How funny. The next card that came out, <clears throat> and this card I used to not like because, well, it's not the most positive when, when you look at it. Normally it says, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. But really... That's good. You want the signs to caution you. You don't want to be driving along a road and there not being a stop sign and you just driving into danger. So see it in that way that you are being divinely guided and protected and that if there are signs that are cautioning you, it is for the better. To not always react out of fear and doubt and go, oh my God, it means I'll be on, on the wrong path or something. Stop doing that to yourself. Stop acting out of fear. Take a deep breath and calm yourself and go, okay, what is this really showing me? And then the third card for advice for us on this new moon is cycles and rhythms. Honour the cycles of your body, energy levels and emotions. I guess this card is encouraging not just me, but I'm sure pretty much anyone who's drawn to watching this video. To honour the fact that, yes, like with me, I've been feeling tired. I've been feeling withdrawn from who I normally am. I've conditioned myself to be this really happy, balanced person that believes in anything. That anything can happen. And it's worked for me. It's been awesome. But the past few, not even days, it's been a build-up from weeks. I've started to feel very much unlike myself and it's been very difficult. Which is why it's also taking me longer to get round to some people's readings because it brings up so much of my own energy that I have to work through that I don't want it to be muddling their reading so I have to do their reading in baby steps. 
to those people I have explained, you know, what's happened and, and they are aware. But it's it's like, wow. I feel I'm coming out of it now. But this cart makes total sense. And it's okay. Because without contrasting experiences, without feeling sad, how do you know when you're feeling happy? Without it raining, how do you know when the sun's out? You know, it's kind of... I know it's a weird, of course, you know when the sun's out. But you know what I mean. You need... Sometimes you need contrast, not just to know when you're feeling good and to appreciate feeling good and being grateful for it, but also it allows you to strive for more, to dream bigger, to allow for even better. You think that you're dreaming big right now, go through a little bit of contrast and see how, how more amazing your dreams become after that. We're not here to dream little anyway. We are here to dream big, to achieve great things. And we are here to bring this love vibration as the standard. A lot of people's standard vibration, sadly, is sadness, doubt, fear, pain. That's not how it should be. It should be joy. Now, some people get irritated when they don't have that and they see that in other people. They go, "Ugh, you're too positive, you're too happy. It's because they can't seem to find that within themselves and it irritates but really, it's something they actually want and they strive for. And that's really how things should be. So allow any experiences that you're going through right now to mold your dreams into an even greater thing. And for you, it allows you to bring even more love to this earth. So I hope that um, this message has helped. And yeah, the new moon is the best time to set your intentions for new beginnings prayers intentions rituals whatever you really are drawn to do i would say do them for the new moon tonight and let all your dreams into the universe and allow it to to come to you if you'd like to connect with me all my details are in the description and um yeah i thank you all so very much for watching have a beautiful day namaste